Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a chain, which is the um, foundation for most of your crochet projects, such as um, bags, clothes, scarves, things like that. So um, what you need, of course, is your yarn and your crochet hook. Um, the yarn that I'm using today is the uh, Double Knit Special by Stylecraft. It's a really good um, yarn for beginners because it's first of all it's it's affordable and also it's um, double knit which is great because it's not too thick and not too thin so it's quite easy to for, for beginners to start with um, and you can get it in lots of different colors as well which makes it quite fun so normally on the back of the label it will tell you what size hook you need so if you look here it says four millimeter there are other measurements there as well but um most in the UK use the millimetre. So I've got my four millimetre hook here. You could just see it says on kind of the, the neck there of the hook what size it is. Um, so I'm going to use yellow because it looks nice and bright in the video. And I'm just going to show you how to do your, your chain. So the first thing you need to do is to put a slip knot onto your hook. And I have other videos that go into detail on how to do this, but I can um, show you that again today. So you just want to take the yarn in your hands like this and then you take this yarn and you wrap it around your finger until it crosses over and makes an X like that. Then you take the piece on the right hand side and you pull it over like that onto the left and you pull up this piece here that's now on the right until it makes a loop and then you put your hook in that loop take your finger out there pull these two strands and then just tighten it onto the hook okay and there is your slip knot if you need to watch that again just rewind the video it might take you a few tries but that's that's absolutely fine it's just just about practice really okay so then the way that I put the yarn around my, my hand is just I wrap it around a couple of times just makes it more secure makes me feel more comfortable other people do different things but it's up to you what works for you um, this just keeps it nice and secure if it's wrapped around my hand like this so what you need to do now is with your thumb and forefinger just hold this bit of yarn here the, the kind of the tail if you like hold it secure just so it's easier for you and um, more secured as you're crocheting. And then all you're going to do in order to create the chain um, is just take the yarn and put it over the hook like that and then just pull it through slowly. Pull it through that hole there, that gap. And you're going to do that again. Yarn over, pull it through just like that. And again, yarn over, pull it through. And then I'm just going to lift my thumb and forefinger up here, just so that I'm in control of it all the whole time. Um, as, you're, as you yarn over and pull through here, you might just pull your hook up slightly to create a, a bigger loop here, just to fit the, the yarn through. That just sort of becomes an automatic process once you get used to it, but it might be something you have to think about the first few times you do it. Just because if it's if it's too tight to get through, it's just not it's not comfortable. And also the, the stitches become smaller and harder to crochet in later on when you come to, to, to crochet back into that stitch. So yarn goes over the hook, the hooky part of the of the crochet hook pulls it through and then releases it. So you can see already we've got a few chains there and all you do is you would continue chaining for as long as the pattern tells you to or for as long as you want to. If you're making a scarf, which is a brilliant project for beginners because it gets you used to the stitches, just keep chaining like this for as long um, for, the, for the width that you want the scarf to be. And then you would do your, your single crochets or your double crochets along um, to make it longer. Um, but I have videos that talk you through the, the single crochet US terminology and the double crochet UK terminology. So you can check those out as well. So just yarn over. Pull through there. 
I'll do it a few more times for you just so you can get the hang of it but of course you can always rewind the video okay so like I said just keep going as long as you want to keep practicing it you could do a really long one just to make sure you've completely got the hang of chaining um, and then you can move on to the next skill to learn. So I hope that was useful and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do have any comments, please feel free to leave them below and I will get back to you. Um, otherwise, please like, share, subscribe, find me on Instagram at lmlmcrochet um, and check out my other videos as well on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.